Hmm. Probably been wondering where the hell I've been, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Things are good, things are bad. <clears throat> where do I start? I'm gonna light one of these up. Because I'm old. And I can do what I want. So, I was in a poly relationship, first time I was in a poly relationship. Actually, I've been in a poly relationship, and I was with somebody that was married, and she was, she had a husband she went back home to, so she had two guys, and she was in the middle. I met her, I don't know, last year, end of last year. I tried to date other people but she didn't like that too much. So, we was together for a while. She was a real good girl. She was uh, told me she was gonna do a divorce with her husband, not for me though, because let's just face it, after having me, you're like, fuck, who the hell have I been messing with? This is the way love should be. This is the way I should be touched and held and you know, all that good shit. So she was going to divorce him because their marriage is a shit. But they was poly before me. Um, they had a girl or a third or whatever. But I was her first male. I tried dating two other girls and she just didn't like it. And eventually once she started doing, well I know I already repeated that, but I'm just saying. I said, you're emotionally unstable. So what you should do she was starting to get a promotion at her job so she was stressed about a lot of things I said you need to take care of your life your stress your problems work on the shit you need to work on and I'm gonna go find someone to date for a while I wanted a girlfriend she don't understand how I couldn't love her and just be with her because when I met her she was married I couldn't give my whole hundred percent to somebody obviously it's married because who knows maybe he would want to try to flip the script and try to do things she's been wanting this whole time and um, try to repair their marriage so I couldn't have feelings she could just never understand this I put myself out there I found a girl and um, feelings started to grow which I've been waiting for feelings because I haven't had feelings for anybody for basically a year and it finally started happening and I, I was like yes this is what I've been needing wanting well the girl turns out to be very fucking awesome she is amazing now I am still seeing her I love the shit out of her and um, we've been going through a lot of things <laughs> we went through um, the girl I was originally with in a poly relationship and I try to be a poly relationship as I'm the the man in the middle and I have two uh, women um, it was my first time and I totally failed at it I'll admit because the original was my person so I got to tell her everything but then when she started acting up who do I tell I was telling the other one so I see where I messed up. There's other things I messed up and I totally get that. So you know, that's where I've been. I've been dealing with two relationships and dealing with one relationships a lot. I mean, you know, but try it with two people and they both know each other. They both met each other. They know a lot about each other. I even told them details, you know, like what me and the other did. We went on a date, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We had sex, whatever. And, and it, I was completely appreciated being open. So basically, that's where I've been. If you've been wondering, hey, where the hell have you been? It's been almost three months. Yeah, sorry about that. One relationship ended. I'm still with one right now. I mean, we're working on that. I want to date another one to be still poly. I'd like to have two and, um, and do it right this time. I'll start 
maybe considering going back to the community and learning about poly life and getting tips and tricks by other people that, you know, at least successfully lasted more than three months. Um, maybe I'll read about it. What rules should I be giving myself entitled? And, um, I mean, I know some things, but, you know, talking and walking it is two different things. Because I talk it like I walk it. I have a lot of topics um, I've wrote down in my phone. So I'll be getting to them soon. Um, and maybe, just maybe, um, the one I'm dating now, she's considering doing videos with me. So when I get good topics for both of us, maybe. So we'll see. And so then, thank you for watching. And please comment. I was thinking about doing short clips instead of really long clips like one topic I'll explain it and then camera goes off move on to another topic video if you want to rather have that than me wait until a really good topic because that's what I've been doing would you rather me so basically comment do a really good one topic fucking 20 minute long one good topic or do you want me to start posting more and having short little five minute, let's say, topics and how I feel about it. You know, it could be three minutes, but hey, at least it's one topic and I'll tell you what I say about it. Any BDSM, vanilla, whatever type of situation. And um, let me know what you think. Do a bunch of short ones or who knows, it might be a month until I do one good topic and it'll be 15 minutes like usual. So let me know. So I'm wanting to do a bunch of short, like one topic, like how do you communicate with somebody that don't like to communicate? And I'll just give five minute speech on it, tips and tricks of how you could do it. And that's it. Really short and sweet videos. What do you think? I like the idea. Let me know. Oh, cool. Did you enjoy that video? Well, if you like that video, try these videos out. That's all you got to do. Click the video. Subscribe. Video.